Rose are red, violets are blue, trim your balls and your date will thank us too. Ooh. Valentine's Day is knocking and Manscaped has your prescription from Dr. Love, which is me. The all new performance package 5.0 Ultra. They say laughter is the best medicine, Jamie, but nothing trims your ball as good as the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. Featuring skin safe technology, this waterproof shaver also comes with the brightest LED spotlight yet. It's perfect for precise grooming, even in the trickiest spots, Jamie. But hey, that's not everything. What? This package also features the Weed Whacker 2.0 nose hair trimmer, Manscaped liquid formulations, and two. Not one, Jamie. Two. two. Three goodies. The Shed Travel Bag and Boxers 2.0. Oh, the boxes are comfy. Oh, they are comfy, Jamie. There's also the Manscaped Refined Doctor's Potion to elevate your grooming routine and set the stage for a romantically smooth celebration. And for the Bearded Kings, Manscaped brings you the Beard Hedger. Not just the Beard Hedger, but the Beard Hedger Pro Kit. It sculpts cheek lines and maintains beard styles, giving you that suave look for your romantic moments. Oh. Get 20% off the Dr. Love approved package and free shipping with the code. Green Room. Let's get into the episode. So I don't know if Shagged uh, you know the armbands you get. Imagine <laughs> 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 that was... ringing a bell and dad's like, hello, who's this? <laughs> what were you wearing? <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you gay and then bummed yeah. his son. <laughs> 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 Jamie's a fraud. He doesn't really fancy his mum, he fancies his dad. <laughs> <laughs> like, the only way we're going to sort this out is if we have a fight. <laughs> Right? <laughs> so, oh. so I'm like sitting there with a big bitter like that. <laughs> this is shite. <laughs> no, no, I, I just wanted to dance. See if they... <laughs> <laughs> Back in up. Squat on that. You whore. You whore. That's right. You whore. Right. Are we ready to go? Yeah. I'm not taking... Yeah, yeah. Fuck off. Fuck up. Fuck up. Are you opening downstairs? Eh, uh, middle, I think. Right, so. Middle? Fucking hell. I don't know, actually. Jesus, I'm looking to... some respect on our mate's name? Unlucky to that closer. Fuck, Binty. <laughs> fucking <laughs> hell, Nelson in the middle, you mad. <laughs> you, you're closing. Am I closing? Yeah, I asked oh, for that. Oh, that's yeah, some yeah, shit themselves out. Binty's all ice again. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> some of the shit in there. What are you reading that? <laughs> Come on, lad. Hey, let's call it. Come on, boy. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to Hot Water Screen Room Podcast with me, Tony Carroll. Yes, me, I'm back. And I've had a health check up, more on that later. Um, special guest. Hey, yes, Mr. Mark Nelson, everyone. Returning guest. Returning guest. Hello. One Is of our favourite, right? uh, 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 pisshead like us. <laughs> there, was a, there was a fucking worrying moment there for you two weren't going to have a drink. I know. <laughs> The only I, porn star in a set that doesn't grab a cock. <laughs> <laughs> I just naturally just uh, you know, uh, now, We man, can't man. not have a beer with our fellow uh, beer connoisseur. Do you like I don't know if I've tried this. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Well, they sponsor a couple of uh, champions, me and Jamie and Ronnie O'Sullivan. That's nice, man. It is, isn't it? They sponsor Ronnie O'Sullivan as well. Yeah, yeah. Fucking yeah. class. And one of us three got in common. Yeah. All of drugs. Mercurial geniuses. I'm a good with a Q. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you talking about, you? Lad? Lad? <laughs> you look like a cue ball, you lad. <laughs> <laughs> you look like the cue ball just hit the pink. It's only Carol for six. <laughs> uh, was you blonde last time? <laughs> You did this because nah, I didn't do it for so, the man. didn't you do it for the Euros and then I did it for the Euros. I did it for the Euros because we got a player called We're Lyndon Dykes. Oh yeah. Then he did, he dyed his hair because he's from the same. He's striking him, isn't he? Ah, he's from the same town as me, and it was mental having somebody from my town represent Scotland at the Euros. So I dyed my hair before. Where was he at, Lyndon Dykes? Sometimes was it? He's at he's at QPR now. QPR, yeah. Aye, yeah, yeah. and he's uh, and then. I did that for the England game, and then he came out to the England game, completely shaved his head. So I just looked oh, like a fanny for the rest of the time. Is, but then, crisis, but the then I've kept it now because I've I've started writing shit about it. So I need to keep it now. Oh yeah, that's what I mean, man. I I had it when you know fucking being a fa- I had some bits about being a fat cunt. Aye. Yeah, I was like, I can't lose weight. You know what I mean? No, it's same man. Yeah, it's same. I wouldn't be funny. Same. Fat. <laughs> you think I'm fucking no. writing, lad? No, I've got five minutes out of being fat. <laughs> Not going to skinny now, but same way I can't get a cock reduction. <laughs> <laughs> it's, part, it's part of the set now, so. <laughs> <laughs> 
How have you been, New Year? Ah, it was alright, man. I had a chest infection over New Year. Spent New Year in bed. Oh, sick. I like, uh, I like being ill for a few. I don't know. It was alright, but... I like being sick, me. Yeah, being ill's good, isn't it? It's good. You just get time off. It's good if you're a, just a bit sick. But if you're proper ill, you're proper, yeah, then it's really yeah, you're shite. Proper, you're like, oh, I wish I was better. Aye. But if you just like, you know, got a cough and you can just get aye, a cough. Aye, aye, aye. I do. I love dramatizing it. I, mean, I know. do. Yeah, oh, I aye. Oh, fuck, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Is yeah, that yeah, man yeah. thing? Do you think? I know people say like man flu and that, but do you think we do dramatize it more? Yeah, I think you do, don't we? Yeah, yeah. Do don't we? Because we're just lazy cunts. Oh, there's been anything. there's been times where I've got to the toilet and like coughed more than I need to, so that I throw up. Oh, yeah. Like just so that my wife hears me. No, <laughs> Type being sick. I do actually. I don't I don't do. Sick, <laughs> it? It's good. I, I, love I love that, that when you when you're hungover and come down, sort of, you just like you you coughing on and I beat your stomach's like off. Aye. And you just shit your pants. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just sitting in your own poo and you're just like <laughs> thirty two years of age. I'm just sitting in my own poo. <laughs> Saying poo. That's his life. <laughs> what are you saying poo for, lad? <laughs> Just think that's in PG. Yeah. Say shit, be lad. Than you, oh, have you got any new res- resolutions? Yeah, obviously, you can stay off this drink. <laughs> nah, I'm just trying to be a bit healthier, aren't I? So. What about your new resolutions? 10k steps You're going to become more racist. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, you really, uh, really lean into the racism this year. Yeah, you're going after. And different races as well. Yeah, you're going after. I think after. the Chinese are going to get it this year. Oh, we hate them, mate. Yeah. 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 I mean, we fear them. Oh, you know go mean? fuck yeah. yeah. Knock your fucking oh. lampshade off your head, lad. Oh. Shut up. You always fear your enemies, but... Oh, oh all right. I know, not all the fucking bird needs eating either, you fucking weirdos. <laughs> yeah, leave our dogs alone. <laughs> oh, mate, come on, lad. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fucking line. <laughs> ah, well, crossed it now. Dan, any New Year's resolutions? I, um, I don't think so. I would like to not be as fat, so that's you know, sure man. I know it's not fat. You're not fat. You know fat is. You no, don't get out of no, breath through no. your fucking shoelaces, mate. No. See, this don't way I don't fucking say, say it. you're fat. <laughs> You're not fat, never, mate. Okay, I would like to lose weight. Is that better? Not, not That's better. better. Yeah, Why do you want to lose Actually, weight? Actually, my actual resolution is to get to a point where I don't get strangers thinking I'm a nonce. You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 Stop being a nonce then. <laughs> 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 it's said than done. You could have just said, I, my resolution is not to be a nonce this year. Yeah, he's just gone with the bounty castle business. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. You still having fucking then kids in that castle, mate. Because the thing is, I'm now, a, now that I've been tagged in a couple of clips, I get some randomers messaging me stuff, just like stuff that you would normally say, but they're just like, oh, yeah, let's throw this at Danny now. You know, like if I put anything on my stories or whatever, I'll get a reply like, Oh, you're not out touching kids tonight, lad. <laughs> nice one, mate. That's funny. It's right, lad. Yeah. Solid it is bring, funny. Solid bringing him down because Danny, Danny don't drink because, you know, he twitches and he has like three pints and that because that's how he got his assault charge and that. Because <laughs> um, he used to go home on the bus. He used to get the night bus home, Joe. It's packed mm-hmm. after three pints. I need... You know, when it goes over speed, we'll be like, oh, fucking grab an arse like that. There we go, oh, sorry, as you know, the bus. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I've got a big stiffy in your window cleaner jeans. Your window cleaner jeans. We took Danny for a pint, didn't we? What happened? Wh- which, which beer? When you got home. Oh, see, I, t- I, th- I thought you were going to save that for the Patreon. I was violently sick in a, in a training witness on my own, hanging over a railing. railing. It Jamie replied in the group chat, welcome to the team. <laughs> We're training you up. And that's not me, you know, especially on a Monday night. Yeah. Like that's it, I mean, out of character. I'd say we went for a drink. We had four pints, didn't we? I mean, really? I had I more, more than four. More. I, well, yeah, I was drinking before. And, but you, you only had about four, didn't you? Well, I stayed out after. Did you? Yeah, I got, I was, I had pre-match drinks in Danny Max. Yeah. Then yeah, I got pissed on air, didn't I? Yeah, you did, yeah. Oh, I was fucking out Show me your cock. <laughs> Say, I think I should have shown you me cock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's why I stayed out all night because I was just traumatized. That's the thing with beer fear, isn't it? Especially when it's on a podcast. Yeah, you can't like you know like I hate that. You know the next day when you like you cringe, you've said something to someone, or and you like get that beer fear. Oh, aye. You fucked on the podcast. Aye. It's out there to the world forever. Aye. With your bad messages. With what? Messi- with your bad with messages. What well, when I was pissed? Yeah. No, that no because I never when I was when I was getting properly wrecked. Early doors, mobile phones weren't really like when I was seventeen and shit. You didn't have yeah. mobile phones, so it was yeah, like a shit. G- that corner side of the girls' house, you up? Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a golden period because you didn't have to worry about anything. You did. Oh, you rang, you rang the house phone on the dad. Get a dad up, aye. 
Did that happen? Oh, aye, that happened. Is it? Times, man. Fuck, yeah. I, fuck. I, I, I went just, that ring in the beer, and the dad's like, hello, who's this? <sighs> like, fuck, where's your daughter? <laughs> what were you wearing? <laughs> 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 I uh, I ran up a massive bill, because I was, I was a little player on MSN chat and that. Mm. You know what I mean? I was getting girls' mobiles and that. And uh, I didn't have a mobile phone. I ran out of, if I ran out of credit, I'd use the house phone. Do you want to talk me a little phone monks and that? Yeah. I was, had this online bird. Do you know what I mean? Spoke to on the phone and that. Well, how's the magazines? No. You're an online so, bot? Yeah, someone I've not met in real life, but it's 14. Oh, sex, oh, sex right, line, right, 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 right. An actual real human. Oh, no, a real human, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Um, not do it, just, just like phone wanks. I'm just saying, like, oh, touch yourself in there. Yeah, yeah. Like, something <laughs> this and that, and I didn't even have any <laughs> <games>. <laughs> <laughs> Pretending to come and I couldn't come yet. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! Thanks for oh, that. Oh, 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 your beauty. Yeah. <laughs> oh, why is it yellow? Oh, it's the first we see, lads. Sorry, mum. <laughs> and my mum got us on the f- phone and my mum went, Who's that slag you've been calling? Because you got the phone bill. Oh. About like hundreds of quid. And then I had this girl rough as fuck. You know, I think she's from Leeds. And she went, Oh, she calling slag. Mm. I was like, oh, fucking, this is murder. <laughs> Get here, like, <laughs> both on. Yeah, you speak to her. <laughs> You're still wanking, though. Yeah, still wanking. <laughs> <laughs> somehow, yeah. That's wow. the best one yet. That's <laughs> why. Yeah, fucking nightmare, mate, ringing them phones. Told you about it. Uh, when I rang the phone box. I used to go in the phone box. So after that, it was bad from ringing. Yeah. So I rang this, uh, from Liverpool, so actually this girl. I rang this girl from the phone box in Liverpool. She went, oh, you still want to send me a picture yet? Yeah, no. I was like, oh, fucking fit scouts action. Do you know what I mean? It's fucking 13. <laughs> bit of me, that. <laughs> was a bit of me. Still. Yeah, it was. <laughs> um, and she went, you still want to send me a picture? So I sent her a picture in the post, and then she fucking must have <laughs> Sent her a picture in the post? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but is it like that, James? Just like that. <laughs> no, it, it was. It was one because I thought I need to one where I'm looking good. Do you know what I mean? So the picture I sent to try and with a girl, it was me on a balcony in Spain looking at my mum's tits. Because oh. it, because I, I, you know how good my profile is. I was like this, and I thought, oh, I've got a bit of a jawline there. Which but I'm not. Like, I'm like that. My mum's tits, just gawping at. Her. No. So the time I wrote to the love letter to that girl, I was a kid, and her stepdad just read it out and said I was gay. <laughs> <laughs> in front of everyone, all the neighbours, summer days party thing. Oh my god! Fucking scar me for like I was about ten years of age, and um, this girl who I have a fancy, they wrote a little love letter, and uh, posted through, and you know like all the neighbours used to go out in the summer in the daytime and stuff like that, all on like having a drink and having a front garden and stuff. Mm-hmm. It was busy. Oh, I love that. And then the dad just was pissed and just went, who's this? Oh, this is for our thingy. I've got to say the name. <laughs> and he uh, opens the letter, reads, starts reading out, and just oh, goes, this know. is gay, isn't it? And I was crying. What, what was in it? What kind of things in it? Just that it was like a part, I don't know, I think it was like Baxi Boy Lennox or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, okay. I'll so show gay, you like, gay and then bombed yeah. his son instead. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't meant to be for me, it was for you. <laughs> Read between the lines, Mark. <laughs> what did you what did you take a photo on? Was it a Polaroid or was it a developing? No, like yeah, Kodak 36 film, Nana took it, me looking and when So you had to go and get that developed. Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> when no, it's a Max Spielman. No, just getting the holiday pictures. It was just one of the holiday pictures. Jamie, like that. <laughs> right, Dan. Do it now. <laughs> so, when Max Spielman, like that. What's this? No, it's just. It's Danny's fucking camera. She's just taking pictures of the holiday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh, what a fine one, because you know. I'm oh, so you look through like the. I'm looking through all the yeah, holiday yeah, ones. Yeah. I thought, oh, I'm on a profile here. Because it looks good. I look good on, on the side profile. Oh, like but your jaw, like your jaw, yeah, the jaw yeah, But you can just see me just garp at my mum's tits and that. But who's taking these photos? My nana. Your nana's taking photos of your mum <laughs> on a balcony with her tits out and you're staring at them? No, she just got a cleavage, but she... Was oh, right! <laughs> <laughs> it, was when, it was when she was 14 stone and they were just fucking all in the tits, so I mean, like proper <laughs> fucking veiny and everything. Jesus, Jesus. So it was just like, wow, look at that, man. <laughs> Stop! Stop! Fucking hell. I did once. Oh, Jesus. Sucks me mum up. Oh, 
But I was like, I was just fucking full of hormones and that. I was 13. I mean, I was just obsessed with my mum's tits. I couldn't believe how big they were and that. So I was on the sofa and I went, hey, mum, check this out. And did it on, like, accidentally. Like, and then what, did you run off and fucking knock on out or something? No, I just stayed downstairs. Didn't know what happened. <laughs> I was like, I want to know what tit feels like. Ah, oh, right. So, I mean, yeah. And that's <laughs> the one I'm used to, isn't it? Do you reckon that's what it is because, but did, you, did you get breastfed, did you? No. Nah. That's maybe that's that. what it is, maybe because you never got Aye. breastfed, you want, you want to suck on the teeth. I know, my mum did, it's like, I'm not fucking... It's not too late. It's not too late. You're sour now, though. No, oh, condensed. <laughs> You'd really Powder. have to suck hard, like... <laughs> Comes out like coffee, mate. Powder. <laughs> <laughs> you know those, you know those pimple popper videos, that's it, like... Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 fucking hell. <laughs> a fountain of sour milk. Well, there's a little pus do there. You ever, do, you ever, do you ever, like, fat, like, have you, like, fancy or like thing, mom. Any, my mom, 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 mom. <laughs> fancy Jamie's mom. mom. Like, any like old like aunties or like kind of like when you were a kid. No, I don't think so. No, on, no, I don't so think. Obviously, I don't agree with anything he says. By the way, about him, about his mother, yeah. But I do agree when you when you're young when you're younger, you do have that fucking like you just want to fuck something, don't you? Aye. You yeah. shag a pillow or something. Or Aye. Like, you know what I mean? Mm. I never done it like but. So I don't know if shagged a uh, put like you know the armbands you get. <laughs> <laughs> put, put that in between the pillows of a couch. I'm fucked it. Just got like in the in between the seating ones. That's cool. Just whacked it in Start. there. And then I don't know what he. I think he must have used something because they're dry as fuck if they're oh, not in the pool. Yeah, so he it. must use something and then. <laughs> so he's down in his knees like that as well. So it felt like a proper porn star move. So he's quite just shagging that a couch. Couch. That's the armband, isn't it? Because right. it's one of them pocket pussy three thousand. Right. Is it? Well, Danny told me, yeah. <laughs> Have you ever used a flashlight, Danny? You've got flashlight vibes. No, I would like to know what they feel like, though. But I, I haven't. I haven't. I don't know why there's s- such a stigma attached to men's sex toys when girls wha- have dildo pies. Yeah, some of them yeah. walk around with vibrators in them and just have a little thing on the phone. It's a grim. Signals. It's a grim party if a load of lads <laughs> have a fucking flesh party, though, is it? Like, if they get some expert round from fucking flaps dot com, like an like, like like answer yeah, party. Yeah, Jesus like, Christ! I think we should do what the lads that normally do fantasy football all get round for a fucking <laughs> Jesus. Put this on. Put one. this on your shower head. Oh. Yeah. I, I, I um, think we should have a flashlight party. <laughs> yeah, Matt. I who, would, who would you invite to your flashlight party? <sighs> you don't want to be Callum, obviously. Yeah. I love you, it. You could use him. There's a flashlight, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> He's got a fucking great little foreskin as well, hasn't it? Do you know what I mean? You could play with that for a bit. <laughs> got a sick foreskin, Callum, mate. Don't knock it. You know, if you've not seen it. Yeah, I've never asked to see it, no. um, I don't know, but I, I, I found my mum's dildos when I was a kid. So I was like... Yo, know, I told you dinner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Box of dildos, because yeah. she used to host um, like dildo parties for the dinner ladies of Garton. I've seen, I think I've seen that film. <laughs> <laughs> the dinner ladies of Garton. Jesus Christ! <laughs> so they just all, all the dinner ladies who worked in the school and yeah, that, yeah. just all fucking coming around, swapping vibes and that. <sighs> Sick that though, isn't it? Sick like I love that. <sighs> that day, little dinner lady, man. <laughs> Give me a fucking extra smiley face there. Uh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Get in, <laughs> Miss Dean. <laughs> have, you, have you been gigging? Have you been gigging? What's that to do here, Mark? Aye, it's been pretty busy. December, December, New Year was quite busy, man. Yeah. Um, it's good. It wasn't that bad last year, like in terms of mental. No. Mental crowds. Yeah, I had to be Tuesday show in December. It was a bit rowdy, like. It was a Aye. bit. Yeah, there's been a few fucking. But you oh, must get that in terms of fans of the pod anyway. So. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, and obviously, because I'm, I'm a local myself, Aye. Uh, I do get like fucking, like, you know, very young crowd as well, so which is always up for it. Part Aye. of the atmosphere, which is good. Aye. I don't always say, like, it's, it, it depends what you want to play, doesn't it? But I prefer them rooms when it's fucking dead rowdy and all that. Oh, like, at Christmas, December, I far prefer yeah. a mental crowd than a crowd that are just there. Because yeah. December's not a time for coming out and enjoying comedy. Yeah, you get a mix of like work stews. <laughs> Two of them want to be there, and the other fucking fourteen Aye. just want to get in the piss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? You're like fucking, you can't win them over because they're just not asked. <laughs> just just don't, care. don't care, mate. Shut up. <laughs> you stopping me having beak? Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a good gig New Year's Eve then? No. <laughs> <laughs> I told you that's one of the worst gigs of my fucking life. Was in it? New Year's Eve. Yeah, it's terrible, man. Where was it? 
It was at Monkey Barrel in Edinburgh. Oh, was he, yeah? And it's just, it's one of those things <coughs> where, I think you're, you're a bit weird if you go to a comedy club on New Year's Eve, I think. Yeah. Because yeah, be it means you've got fuck all else planned. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's, so I, like the la- there was three, three in the one day. The first two were all right. And then the last one, I went on first what instead. What time was it, It started about nine. Oh, that's late, isn't it? That's late, aye. But I think it was because you notice it st- opening when you do a certain type of material. You oh, start yeah, to go, yeah. shit, I'm really not yeah, an opening not act at all yeah, anymore. Yeah, yeah, and you yeah. forget you've got to adapt yeah, yeah, to yeah. it. So I just went on the way I'd been closing it the rest of the week. And then you rapidly realise that this is well too early yeah, for yeah. these people for a lot of this kind of shit. <laughs> and I was telling him, there's a bit I do about getting a, a hand job off my wife. Yeah, I love your political and, stuff. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's like the, so- the, high, bro. the social commentary stuff. Yeah. 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 And, Was uh, a bit too intelligent? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Imagine her hands Israel and my cock's Gaza. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> uh, so, I, uh, I so I do that bit and I act it out. And it's the first time I've ever done it to absolute silence. <laughs> Just an entire room staring at me oh, while I went like this. I love it, lad. And then I, I was like, "How? I don't know how long I can actually... Because the jokes aren't working anyway. So if I can, ra- if I can you, you drag this out for 10 out minutes, yeah? and this would be yeah. fucking excellent. So. <laughs> See, I don't... I just called the defensive me if that had happened to me. And then in Belfast, and then I just went... Right, here's Jamie, everyone. Oh, Brought Jamie on. So funny. Like, what, did they not like you, no? It, it, I think no, they patronised him, though. Oh. The joke died, and he went, oh, this is shit, innit? And someone went, no, keep going. Mm. <laughs> I just went, oh. That's even worse, man. Yeah. Did you see that cunt hosting the Golden Globes? Nah, did I? I, I oh. seen, I seen he died. Oh, I, I seen brutal, like, man. About it. Brutal, like, just a guy. I'd never heard him, Joe Coy. No, oh, I no I'd never heard him at all. He's, like, apparently, like, Brennan and that were telling me that he's got massive... Specials on Netflix and shit. We get called in like ten days ago because no one else would do it because it's sh- it's a shit gig. I mean, it's yeah, like it's like a, a yeah, pay, so well, you'll get paid a whack, yeah, but it, yeah. I mean, it's like a corporate from fucking hell because you've yeah, got it's, it's corporate from hell, like, that, like stunning people that won't laugh at themselves yeah, yeah. and they give them nothing. They're like, I mean, there's not even like any bit of good grace. They, they laugh, They're just I, dying. They just they just stare at them, <laughs> and then he he starts he starts like. He starts going on the defensive yeah, and going, yeah. oh, I got this fucking gig 10 days ago. What do you expect? And then he starts like going, the writers have given me shit gags. The ones you're laughing at, the ones I've written and all this kind of stuff. And you're like, oh, oh man. I can't do that. What a meltdown like. So. Guy, mate. Oh, fucking it's right wonderful, with man. Room, would you fucking say you, lad? I had all these big massive comedians that I've got off. They've got teams, right, Yeah, I've got it on there. You have to, yeah? yeah fucking cop science, mate. Or they just come <laughs> and watch our stuff and rob our material. <laughs> That's why mine's so vile, they'll never go near it. So I'm just talking about shagging my granddad. Yeah, well, that's why I've come from your style. I'm just talking about getting fucking picked up all the time. Ah, that can't pe- do that. Yeah, people will nick that, though. No, nah, I'm not my way. They'll nick the stories. You won't say, like, I was picked up and then I ended up in my kitchen shagging a pack and a ham, will they? What big comedian's going to do that? <laughs> Chief Ma- Michael McIntyre. Steve McIntyre. I've heard that the house was only Peter. Shut up, man. I would love to see that. Have you seen the Cat Williams podcast? No, I've read about it. I've yeah, not seen it yeah, yet. Yeah. I, was that, I watched like the first half an hour. Right, he goes everybody, doesn't he? He just goes after everyone. Who? Just Who like Kevin Hart, fucking um, Steve, what's his name? Um, Oh, the Harvey, uh, yeah. Uh, just, uh, just everyone, really. And he's, he's got quite valid points, to be honest. What's his beef with everyone? Is he falling out I, with them all? I, I, think, I think everyone just be like, be like, all on podcasts and stuff. And then Cat Williams always gets mentioned, you know, like being like this arsey man or like. Oh, all right. Like, yeah, like just like, just be, and then he just come on and just said, like, this, 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 is, not, this is not the truth and stuff. And talking about like at gigs and stuff, when people open up for him, he pays them out of his own pocket and stuff. It's a big wedge, you know, and he's like, these people open us, like when he goes to comedy clubs or now, like in America. These people aren't really getting the wage, you know what I mean? Ah, stuff, right. And then he's saying, I'm getting fucking 100 grand here to get to come here and do this. So I'm paying you, to, I'm going to give them 10 grand, you know what I mean? Seems like a real fucking sad fella. Yeah. But his boss, the way he just goes for all the comedians, like, yeah. boss, I might do, I might do Cat Williams, me, and live. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be class. He's got that oh. if I just count to everyone for, for who they really are. <laughs> who that? Everyone, <laughs> everyone, <laughs> everyone. Who's, who's your name? Go on then. What? Come for me, lad. Do you want me to do it right now? Mm. 
Jamie's a fraud. He doesn't really fancy his mom. He fancies his dad. <laughs> <laughs> I should see his ass up. <laughs> Who do you come for? Who would I come for? Yeah. Who'd you fight? Have you ever had a beef and comedy? Oh, fucking loads, man. Yeah. Love it, me. Uh, aye, loads. Like, you should have your toes. Aye. I, uh, I don't think you'll even mind me saying this. Um, first time I went out, well, the first time I went outside of Europe, I think, I went to Dubai for gigs. And do you know, you know comedian Pete Johansson? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Canadian comic, right? <laughs> and Pete, I mean, he's fucking incredible. Like, he's, he's an yeah. incredible, incredibly good comic. Difficult guy to get on. And, like, we get on now. And we got on before, but um, there was just, like, a fucking proper clash of personalities. And, like, the first night, he was tired and, like, jet-lagged and stuff. And, like, it was my first time away. And um, I was in the middle. He was closing. And then none of us had a great gig, but I was quite happy to be in. I was in fucking Dubai. It was, yeah, this yeah, was in yeah. Abu Dhabi. So um, uh, he went on, and none of us did well. And then I came off, and I went, oh, that was really, that was good, man. And then he was like, don't fucking lie to me. And I was like, all right, I thought it was good. And then I just went away and had a drink with Michael Fabry, who was our comic on. And then Pete came up to me, and he was like, ah, um, no, no, he was standing over talking to someone, and I was like, right, I'm not going to start off the trip like this so I went over and I went look man I'm really sorry if you took that badly yeah, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. my intention at all I, I genuinely thought it was good so put my hand out and then he went oh I've got less respect for you now <gasps> the fact you've apologised <laughs> and I went fuck you man oh, fuck and then just walked <laughs> walked away and then like half an hour later he comes up and he's like the only way we're going to sort this out is if we have a fight <laughs> right <laughs> so, so I thought because he's a big guy, yeah, he's a big yeah, fucking yeah, guy, yeah. a big strong dude. And I think he expected me to go, oh no, and I went, I all right. So we went out in the street in Abu Dhabi and just started fucking knocking lumps at each other in the street. And one of the audience members who we'd both been talking to independently came out and dragged us apart and were like, I don't know what's going on here, but you can't, like, you'll get, you both will go to jail if the cops drive by and find the two of you fucking rolling about in the ground, punching each other in the face. You'll go to jail. So that's that was the first sweet, night, that. first night of a ten night tour in Dubai. <laughs> that's <laughs> fucking collapsed, that you know. <laughs> well done, mate. Outside, yeah. that was. <laughs> it was mental. But that is funny, and then that. just had uh, just be a mate after it, like yeah. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. he's a bit of a prick a couple of times yeah, after yeah, that yeah, yeah. on the tour. But it's it's an intense. It's like when you do those kind of overseas things, it's yeah. a proper intense because you're with each other all the time. Sad, you're changing yeah. hotels constantly. Yeah, you, you, someone could be at like stuck your ass. You yeah, yeah, and, then, and, and folks take things the wrong way, and I've taken things people yeah, yeah, have said yeah, the wrong yeah. way. But I know I totally sound now, like. So. Yeah, yeah, it's I mean, he'd a fucking he'd a leathered me eventually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I was <laughs> properly like adrenaline and boozed up <laughs> and excited to be on holiday. So I was like, yeah, I, I, I had bro. that. Ah, exactly. <laughs> 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 take my top off. <laughs> can do that. Let's say that you know, class. Nah, I, I, I don't like though. I know you've not done it in that situation, but there's a couple of things I hate when people come off stage. Is one when they've roofed it and they're like, you know, fake humble. Do you know what I mean? Aye. And I, it's fair enough. You don't have to be arrogant, like say you're the boy. But Joe, like, constantly going, ah, nah, nah, it's, it's fine. I went, yeah, yeah, you're right. It was okay. And yeah. then you see him switch. Do you know what I mean? Ah, right. Have you seen that? I, I, don't, yeah, I don't like the faux cute. Don't, 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 you've got to be, I think you've got to be c- cocky enough, you smash it. Yeah, someone fishing for compliments I don't like. Do you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, of course. Just oh, like, yeah, mm, right I went, you yeah, know, yeah, you know when you've... You do know we all get on stage for, for attention. Aye. Like. You know you've roofed it, so... Yeah, we go, that's what we do. We go on for attention. That's Aye. It, so. And you don't need to, you don't need to say anything. You don't need to come off like the fucking king, like... Oh, I do cut. that. I, I'm lapsing at me. Oh, I, well, you can, but I mean, you don't like, but you don't come off and go. Oh, just that, that's all right. Yeah, just waiting for someone. I got some of the staff in that water. Do you need to kiss me hand when I come off? <laughs> <laughs> in that chair, feeling you great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you look great in a toga, you. Oh, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> do you want to have a toga party? Oh, we should do toga that. Toga party with flashlights. You would look good in a fucking toga, oh, actually. Might as well have a toga party for the live show. One of the live shows, I'd. <gasps> Shall we? Aye. Yeah. Oh, like flashlights. Love a Greek night. I proper animal house yeah, shit. The f- yeah. The last one. The last one to fill up the flashlight has to drink the others. Come. No, lads. <laughs> why would you say that? <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, we'll play hummus or cum. <laughs> <laughs> what, what? Hummus or cum. 
What the fuck? They're not even close. <laughs> Hummus or cum? Have you got a lot of speak for yourself? <laughs> 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 oh, I'm bragging. <laughs> it like, comes out like cum. <laughs> All right, lad. Ah, uh, toggle party would be good. Wouldn't yeah, I think we should have a talk about it. Last. Oh, you up for that, Danny? Would you do it as well, all Danny? Day. Yeah? All day. I mean, yes. it'd be a bit weird because I'm not on stage, so it'd just be well, someone. So I'll be in a talk yeah. You're the toga. voice of God. You can be like Zeus or whatever. You could be in proper, like. You also have a big shit stain on the back of it. <laughs> <laughs> big skin mark on his toga. It's not even sheets, it's just toilet paper wrapped <laughs> around them. <laughs> it's fucking piss stained sheets. He's just taking the fucking bed sheets off his bed. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's do one week. <coughs> tell all the audience it's fancy dressing them, which is not. We tell them, just got what he's doing. Dickheads. <laughs> yeah, that's a shot. Yeah. It's like fucking Comic Con. <laughs> Have you ever had that? We are, I had that last. My wife had it around me the other day. Uh, she was telling one of our family um, last year at Halloween. No, last year, a couple of years ago. Uh, we went round a Halloween party like with some of the my kids' pals. One of their parents had a. Halloween oh. thing and I I'd taken it that we uh, were supposed to dress up as well right so the kids <laughs> are all dressed up right so me and my wife so my wife had like a penguin costume but it was a penguin costume that she could easily just zip there and it would fucking go and then she just put it in the car which she did when we arrived and I, we were the only cunts oh. dressed up I'd gone as Kim Jong on <laughs> <laughs> I had a black suit, a black shirt. I'd fucking like a, like a post-it note and coloured it in like the Korean flag. I dyed my hair black and front of back, and I'd done the eyes. And I was oh. like, "Fuck!" Looking at me, going, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> and that was that was me for the rest of the afternoon. Like just people <laughs> afternoon. Afternoon. Yeah, 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 it was an afternoon. afternoon. It was an afternoon. It was an afternoon. <laughs> That your oh. kids must have been fucking. Oh my you know? god! Not one other person fucking dressed up. My wife turns up. She sees the fact that everyone else is just in jeans and t-shirts and shit. Zip, fucking chuck I, it in I the boot. The kids were just like that. Fucking thing oh is. my god, man! <laughs> but people, people didn't know who the fuck I was either. <laughs> so when they kept coming up, who are you? Not something. North Korean leader came on. <laughs> so his kid. <laughs> He's going to super here. You have to say he's the world <laughs> biggest villain. <laughs> Eight year old pie. <laughs> Kim Jong un. Fucking hell. Fucking hell, that's funny. That <laughs> that's insane. Going as a fucking mass murderer. <laughs> I love fancy dress though. It's fucking, it's fucking, it's, it's oh, funny. Ah, it's class. It's good. I, I got invited to a fancy dress. I, I sort of like, oh, right, am I not invited? Until I, I like sulked my way in. Do you know what I mean? Like in school, this guy's 16th, and everyone was invited apart from me, do you know what I mean? Being left out, so I was wearing my way in. And obviously I was on the night booking, so I didn't have anything to go with. So I just got a t-shirt and burnt holes in it. And I just went, oh, I'm a pirate. <laughs> Arr. <laughs> why, why is pirates have just Aye. holes, burnt holes in the t-shirt? Oh, it's the only thing I could think of, lad. I tried to borrow a lampshade to go as a Chinese man, but I wouldn't want to have it. <laughs> <laughs> and then, <laughs> then I blacked out at the party. And then my dad what? blacked out at the party. Oh, <laughs> 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 Somali pirate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the captain now. <laughs> Oh. Fucking carried on by me. My dad had to come to the party and get me out and that. Really? Yeah. All wasted? Embarrassing, man. Wasted, yeah? Yeah. I just used to. Because all I did to try and impress people was just get flat out drunk like just be the first yeah, to get yeah, yeah, first yeah, yeah, to go yeah, yeah. like <laughs> sniff anything eat anything do you know what I mean sniff anything yeah so, yeah as soon as anything got put in front of me I was like I'd yeah, just, yeah, just anything I've dirty pints do you know yeah, what I mean yeah, yeah. people like putting the dick in my pint I was like I'll neck it anyway I don't care do you know what I mean? Just to try and get... I was just trying to be... I, I thought the easiest thing to make friends is just be disgusted. Aye. And yeah, people yeah. would just go, oh, he's mad at him. We'll bring yeah, him yeah. out. That's all, I tried, that's all I tried to do. It worked, though, didn't it? Yeah, look at me now. Exactly. <laughs> Still fucking doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Still can't fucking stop drinking. <laughs> Have you, did you drink... Did you start taking Young Mark, yeah? Eh... Uh, ah, Young, not Scotland Young. Aye. Yeah. No, no, it wasn't Scotland Young. I think about 14. Well, so yeah, about uh, 14, yeah, probably. Yeah. Aye. I love it, you know. Aye. <laughs> I love, it, love. love drinking on the street. Better person with it. Aye. 
much much better laugh. Yeah. I know I'm a better laugh. Like I know I'm a better person. Are you more generous? Do you remember more the first generous. time you ordered a yeah. drink in the pub? Yeah, I, I remember my dad getting me a pint. That was my first pint when I was 13 or 14. Do you remember going up and ordering your set oh, like that? The, that fucking, the, first the pressure one. underage of ordering that first drink. I've like. always looked dead older me, so I always got to say I was like 15, 16. So I was a nightmare. I was too baby faced. Yeah. Right on me. 18th birthday, went out to stay the bridge, yeah. Got my little passport and that. I turned 18 at midnight, queuing up for ages outside. Got a little couple of E's in my pocket. I'm like, fucking oh, this is it, man. This is all I've dreamed of. You know, yeah. I'm going out to a nightclub, man. This is mint. Show me ID at the fucking bouncer. 18 the next day. And he went, uh, and he went, tw- no. he goes, it's uh, 21st tonight, mate. I went, tw- I went yeah, yeah, it's been. Birthday night at midnight and uh, come back at midnight then. <laughs> Fuck, oh, cut me off, lad. What a uh, dick, in man. Front of loads of people as well, all just laughing at me. Legally, you know. he's right, isn't he? But I come on, lad. Three Jesus. hours difference. Three hours. Yeah. That's a. That, what yeah. a. Cut that neck. I thought he was doing it to laugh at you as well. Went, yeah, I can't no, he's just done that to me. Oh, went, oh, right, okay. And then all oh, my mates like, oh. We're not going in. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> so one, so one, one, mate, one mate took pity on me and went, I'll stay with you, lad. Yeah. And we just had a quiet pint for me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> 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 fucking pathetic, that, isn't it? Yeah, fucking <laughs> hell. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I started going clubbing when I was about well, yeah, 15, 16. Well, I, I remember Dad getting me my first pint. So this is your fault, Dad. I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> and it was the best pint ever. <laughs> and it was a proper dingy pub called Dirty Nelly's, Aye. London Road. I used to play pool every Saturday afternoon, and he just went and turned to me and went, I'll get you your first bite now. I was like, oh, we were the best we were, thing ever. We were so not used to getting served when we were that age, that the very first time that I did get served, like, when I went, because I used to just go, can I get a pint? And then they'd go, fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but the first time, I was like, can I get a pint? And then the guy went, off what? And I just fucking, I was like, heavy. So I'm fucking like <laughs> pint of heavy for my first drink. Oh. So I'm like sitting there with a big bitter like that. I'm like, this is shite. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything else to. Oh, Could have gone anything, tenants, Guinness, yeah. anything, but oh. it's heavy. I think um, what should be really implemented, yeah? There's a lot of drinking disorderly now with the yeah. youths. Yes. Yeah? There's a lot of kickoffs. A lot of people like they spark fucking big fights in pubs. It's a ni- knife crime, good it's, crime. It's, it's a knife crime. Here's an idea to end knife crime, yeah? Because I was watching, t- did you see 24 hours in police custody? And also all kicked off in the pub. Me that, yeah, yeah, all kicked off in the pub over, and got run over and stabbed and that. And the reason why is we're not taking our kids for pints anymore. Now, here's my theory, yeah? You're 14 and, you know, you go to the pub with your dad or, you know, male role model, you know? Um, uncles, etc. Right, and they say, "Oh no, he's all right. He's with us." And you're the only, you're the only young lad there, but you're not with another group of youths. You're with men. Do you know what I mean? You're with like yeah, yeah, yeah. You have that pint with that group of men. They teach you pub etiquette. They say, Aye. "No." They, they they teach you the importance of um, no. He was first mate. Always put a pound on the pool table. Always put a pound on Aye. the pool table. Yeah. Um, split the crisps. Split the crisps. Good one. Don't back door around. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Split quiz machine winnings. Do general pub etiquette, you put pound in for jacks if you play cards. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Things like that. I think now with because people are so strict on like, no, you're not having a you know, it's so frowned upon taking a fourteen year old girl for a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You yeah, yeah. cameras in your face. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm, I'm just there to teach you pub etiquette. I swear. <laughs> split the crisps. Remember, split the crisps. <laughs> You've ruined my holidays. <laughs> but I don't oh, jo- 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 the girl. Um, uh, just to clarify. But I think if we teach the younger kids in a one one situation, they'll naturally go more mature because they don't want to. They don't want to be seen as being a kid. They don't want to be that guy. Because right. there's always that guy in the pub, isn't he? If they start acting it's always up. that guy in the pub who's a fucking dickhead. Yeah. Ends up getting smacked. Or he never buys a bevy, always on the pub. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, you're right there. Have etiquette. So to end knife crime, start drinking younger. Facts. 
Right, do you know what? That's not that daft. You know, it's actually you not. To, no. it, to be fair. You need to trust them to be mature. You need to give them the tools to be mature. Do you know what I mean? Maybe, maybe lower the, cons- the, the, the legal age for sex then, maybe? <laughs> not hard. Oh, oh, I think it's something else. <laughs> so, what? Danny, what have you been up to anyway? <laughs> Speaking of lower age for consent. <laughs> <laughs> you're still going on your annual trips to Thailand. <laughs> How was your New Year's, Danny? Did you ask about that? We didn't really do much. Oh. It, uh, so, I didn't do anything on New Year's Eve, <laughs> but the day before New Year's Eve, we went out. Because um, I got some money for, uh, for Christmas off, like, my mum, my nan and stuff, so we went out. <laughs> How old are you, lad? <laughs> yeah, but they, st- they just... <laughs> <laughs> Cut more of us now. Fiver and a car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and new pyjamas. Don't you say you like spent it on a ticket to go and see fucking ice hockey. No, no. get off. No, I never. We went, we went for Miller and Carter, and then we went oh, to a bar. Oh, that's after. nice. It was, it was, the, it was a boss. It was proper needed. Did you catch up on any ice hockey over the holidays? No, but I think we're going this Saturday though. Goes to ice hockey games, Mark. What's you, what's your uh, opinion on that? Uh, I've never, I've never watched ice hockey in my life. I think um, I've tried. I, I, hard to follow, man. Is it easier wait. when you'd watch it live? I, I don't. I've never watched it on telly. But it live, was an ultra it's, lad. it's boss. <laughs> live, it's really, really, because it's like, because ultra. it's not that big in the UK, or the one I go to is not that big. So, like, you, you stood at the glass, you know what I mean? Like, where it, like, NHL and whatever, it's in, it's massive. It's like arenas, basically, isn't it? So, you, you sat, like, miles away. I don't know if anyone watched it, but... Is there fights? Yeah, yeah. Is there still fights? That, yeah. Because that's what you always get for ice hockey films. Yeah. yeah. The, like, yeah. two guys fucking leathering each other, but... Yeah, that's what I mean. It's bo- and they just get lashed everywhere and stuff. Stop New Year's Eve. It's boss. I love it. You should Stop, go. Stop us New Year's Eve. <laughs> no, that was the day before New Year's right, Eve. So on the th- didn't you go out for cocktail? Did you go out for cocktail? Yeah, that was that, was that one. Oh, right. Was any, was any dis- decent um, bar staff there? Yeah, yeah. But, um, all right. <laughs> The bass yeah, up there. I know this story. <laughs> I know he's. That's what, as soon as he said that, I was like, "Oh, nobody's setting up here." So basically, the one of the barmaids, but she wasn't like a barmaid. She was like a glass bar collector. staff, done it. Sorry, twenty four. Okay, but but she was female. So a- anyway, Are you. Uh, oh, did you get that confirmed? Sorry, twenty four, done it. <laughs> I mean, she all but flashed her tits to me, babe. She was obsessed with me, babe. But she was she just basically ignoring me. I've got tits. Wow. Ah. They're called breasts, Danny. It's 2024. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, so what, what did you do with this? So there was um, this bed. She was just obsessed with my bed. And like woman. Could, okay, Danny, 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 your, oh, gr- on. your girlfriend. It's not your property. Do you mean your bird? It's 2024, man. <laughs> I'm on. sorry about this, Mark. He's come sorry, all the way listen, down from Danny, Scotland. I, I hate women as much as it seems you do. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> even... <laughs> <laughs> Even I wouldn't resort to calling them just birds. So <laughs> fucking clean up your act here, Danny. Come on, go on, mate. So What's this split ass doing? <laughs> <laughs> so basically, she was just all over my bed, and just every time I tried to like be nice, just speak to her and ask for a drink, and she'd f- just fully ignored me. And then she was trying to get me bed up to dance, and then I started trying to dance with me bed and here. So it's like, not, not. I can't describe it, but. I was encouraging that my bear got up and danced and this bear just ignored the fact that I was like, Jeez. I was up for a laugh. So then she ignored me and then this other bar, bar person who was male just ended up dancing with me. So I was dancing Barman with done it. Sorry, sorry. So you were dancing with a barman and your girlfriend was dancing with a bar a woman. Yeah, and then, and then we ended up dancing all together. But that's how it, that's how it went. Gay that <laughs> So then what happened? I had the best <laughs> How did you dance? Oh, I don't dance very nicely. Like, look, just look at me like that. Just do that. a little dance for me. <laughs> I'm not stop no, it. I'm, not. I'm like, you fucking monkey. There's no cameras on me. I know, so but it's... I want to see. There's cameras in my head. No, because I don't. Go I on, can't lads. remember. Just I was me. fucked. No, no just do, do something that you was going to do. <laughs> I just, I just what sort of thing would you sit do? Sit in the corner like this. Like, would you like to go in shoulders? What? Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen Max and Paddy? Nah. Show me. <laughs> <laughs> go on, lad. Just go do a little dance. No, because I don't know what I did. I don't know how to dance. I just what music you, was? You just it? feel the music. It was Mr. Brightside. That's oh, right. everyone was going. Yeah, you just feel and you just go for it. You just when you've had that much to drink, there's was no. Was you like this? <laughs> that, like that sort of thing. Yeah, I think. Oh, it was, was you bumping, grinding, or what? Oh no, I wasn't bumping, and grinding. Well, what? What? Was, was you doing a lasso? 
<laughs> so that's like bar guy. Him, like, <laughs> it's like grinding on him and stuff. Yeah, no, it's just like hands up, just bouncing up and down, basically. Did you think the girl then had maybe was into your girlfriend? Hundred percent. How, how many times? Now tell the truth here. Now, what percentage of you thought threesomes on here? Not a lot because she was not interested in but me. That, but it, but that's I why just you mar- go. I. But yeah, well, no. that's why you go. Oh, I just be there as an accessory. Daddy, wasn't it? No, no, I, I just wanted to dance. See if the- <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to dance. <laughs> it's such a lot. Fucking Patrick, <laughs> Patrick Swayze here. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to dance. There's fucking Billy Elliot in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> just love to dance. <laughs> See if if they if if the bar uh, bar made have suggested that you go back, but you're not a part of it. You just sit there and watch. Would you have been happy? Probably not. That's blue balls, that isn't it? No, you can still come, lad. Yeah, you can still wank. Yeah, but I might as well fucking wank an armband, might not I? Like fucking but fucking that's armband. New Year's like what, a, what a way to bring in the new yeah, year. Yeah, that'd be great, that. Watching the girl get watching, out. Watching me bed, having a good time while I sit there. Just like. <laughs> oh, I wish I was having that's a good time. That's happened to me. My mate shagged a bird while I lay next to him, and I just like grabbed a tit like that. <laughs> frozen in fear. <laughs> that's how you had a free zone. That's the that's close we've got, yeah. Counts. <laughs> Counts. <laughs> I'm just kind of rare on people having sex now and just touch them. Yeah, it's just a free zone. Well, like, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. I think, I think the admin of it or your autism, yeah. the way your bed's set out and that. Yeah, mate. I, I am not good enough with one person, let alone two. I, I'd last about three seconds. It wouldn't be fun. Because I'd be like, oh, I've given it a little bit too much attention. I should, should I give oh. it a bit more attention? Oh, I, I thought a threesome terrifies me. Like, yeah. Unless it opens. I'd much, I'd be more, no, I, I'm going to say, I, wouldn't, I don't know if I'd be more comfortable with two lads and one lassie. Two yeah. lassies, you've got a the lot only, of, the only yeah, they're like lot. fucking fat boy slim. You've got yeah. all sorts yeah, going. There's loads of different buttons. Aye. Aye. <laughs> Do you know the thing with two men doing it? It's just the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? hey. When do you when do you uh, like what's the etiquette on like switching ends and that? Do you know what I mean? I'd rather just stick to one end. Well, like halfway half time and then swap round. Aye. Because then you're in there juices, aren't you? Yeah, I'd like that. Mm. It's you though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's not the <laughs> What I mean, I love. I like it when people double dip at a barbecue, mate. I don't see why people moan at that. <laughs> what I mean? Yeah, I do. But like it's like, fucking tiny. It's the tiniest bit of saliva. I know, but just with food, just like just I have like why my own though? food. Why though? You have if yours. If you didn't know about it, you'd be sound. So because you yeah, know about exa- it, of course, yeah, I'll come up, yeah. I eat McDonald's and so I can put the cock in my burger. I still eat the burger because I don't know the cock's in it. I knew the cock was in the burger, I wanted the burger. Nah, man, I think you're fucking sad. Well, just with food and stuff, you, I just like, you should just have your own food and your own dip. You have yours and I have mine. I know all have this you ever done so? You can't do that at a party, though. If it's like a communal dip. There's going to yeah. be double dipping all over. There's going to be fucking quadruple well, dipping all over. Like Aye, so. Try food? Nah. Would you, would you, would you, would you dip, dip, would you have a party? Oh, party fuck dip, yeah. I don't give a shit who's eating the food before me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Let's get in, man. Yeah. Too much fucking... I'll sli- just go in the cupboard and get the ketchup off. But, like, would you... So if you dropped a bit of food and it had been on the, the ground for, like, no. three seconds, would no. you not eat it? No. Why? Why? Just, I don't know. Just, I just, it's just stuff with food. I just, just like, I just like what I like. <laughs> Can't, you don't eat off the floor, man. <laughs> you just, you just like non-food floor. <laughs> I just like to dance. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've had a pizza out the bin before, like a pizza slice that's been in the bin, not in a box. See now, that's that's not nice, is it, Mark? Just I think that's all right. Do you yeah. know what I, I you think that's all right? <laughs> I, I, <laughs> it's at the top of the bin. Ah, it's not. You don't need to fucking bin hook to what, bin juice and all out of there. No, because it's sitting in the box at the top. I wait in the box. It was just a slice, but it was mm. on top. Oh, of right. like, it's on top of like, you know, coke wrappers and that. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's nothing dirty on it. The bin is the bins and bin, isn't it? That's where all waste goes. Yeah, yeah, but it's well, not hygienic, though, is it? It's not perfect. No, it's not hygienic. It, it wouldn't be hygienic if you just left out in the kitchen either. You don't know what the guy. You don't know what the guy's done making the pizza. Aye. He might not wash his hands. He might have put pee. Scratch his arse while he's making it. Like 100%. you don't know, do you? I you came down. To... I came down one morning after an night out to find my wife 
we like a fucking a curry carton sitting on the top of the bin, and she was just over it with a spoon like that. Yeah, like it was wow. like a fucking horror. Yeah, like, I love it when fucking women are filthy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stop yourself saying oh, that. I love it, man. It's girly drinking oh. a pot noodle while having this shit, man. I love oh. shit like that. <laughs> fucking imagine coming on with that, man. A I girl love. drinking a pot noodle having a shit. <laughs> yeah, that's sick. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, mate. Bang, out. Yeah, go on, lad. Straight in, straight out. It's <laughs> 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 classic. I love, no. it. love rock like that, me, man. Oh, you're a bad <laughs> man. You're, you're a bad man. man. You're a sick cunt. Once you start leaning into it, you're like, oh, it's so free, and you know. I'm the total opposite of me, you know, a proper pussy now, things nah, like that. I love it, me and man. Don't like any stains or any blood oh. or shit or no. Yeah. <laughs> you don't think it's hilarious, though? No. I find it so funny, me <laughs> man. Shit stains <laughs> on that. <laughs> Fucking buzz off it, me. Especially when a girl leans into it, you're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> you're, all prim, you're all prim and proper on that date and that, and that, yeah, fuck off, pot noodle having this shit. I do, well, I tend to like, I tend to like a, a heavy one, like, don't we? We like to have a heavy one. On the ale. Mm. <coughs> like was good, wasn't it? Yes. <coughs> Chilled, Bob. Refined. Yes. Yeah. Have you had any heavy ones over the week? Over the, yeah, have you had any, Mark? No, I've been all right, actually. Because I've been working so much. <coughs> I think I've yeah. been that. Do you I've tend not... to, like, if you've got gig, gigs on that the next day and that, do you just tend to not that go to one? Nah, I, I, it's not even... Like, I, d- I drank a fair, <coughs> fair bit on Christmas Day, but... Uh, yeah. But the Christmas Day, you never really get wrecked because oh, it, it's yeah, spaced yeah. out. Like I yeah. kind of start about midday. There's lots of food as well. Aye, aye, you're, you're soaking yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, but you're yeah. not even soaking up just with Christmas dinner. Like all the way through the day, you're having fucking twiglets and like yeah, yeah. crisps and peanuts and shit. So it's all. But I mean, the amount, aye, amount you put away on Christmas Day is heavier than you would normally. You don't feel wrecked, though, do you? No, 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 no never, no. never. And you can't get wrecked. That's the thing. Like because I remember, and often. I know, but not, I've not done it for a few years now, but Christmas Eve used to be a big night out for me. Aye. And you, the first few just go down, it's like air of the dog, do you know what I mean? Yeah, just trying yeah. to get on an even, you spend yeah. so long trying to get on an even keel. Yeah, you, by the time you get you pissed, knackered you're before you yeah, pissed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've been, over the past few years, I've been going on Christmas Eve. Uh, Christmas Eve's the best day of the year. Oh, it's, oh, it's yeah. awesome, man. I used to love going out on Christmas Eve. <sighs> Absolute cracking laughs. Yeah. What I love as well, because we don't have a massive deal of it in our house, Christmas. Um, there's no guilt. John, like, aye, I've so not can, ruined aye, Christmas. Aye. Cause, like, no, 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 you know, it's ask really now. Right? Aye. So it's fucking, yeah. you just go out guilt-free, get twatted, hung over on Christmas Day. Oh, yeah, or well, you just don't wake up for your dinner and stuff like that. I've done that a few times. Yeah. Oh, I remember a few years ago, I woke up at 7 o'clock Christmas night. <laughs> Got it like 9, 10 in the morning. I woke up at 7 at night and went to home. It's Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Back to bed. <laughs> what time do you have Christmas dinner? Because English people have it different it's to us. It's normally around three, four and a half. Aye, see, we have it about <sighs> five, six. L- let's get on this, yeah. Every, every, well, I don't have Christmas dinner normally. I, I've had it for the first time in like 25 years this year. Because I was at my girlfriend's mum and dad's. They had it at 12, lad. What? Did they, yeah? Mid day? Yeah. That's what? Like breakfast time? Yeah. That's mad, insane. Mad. Yeah, mad, mate. Before the speech? Yeah, well before the speech, man. I was in like... For what speech? I, King's. King's speech. <laughs> I've never watched that before. Neither have well. I. never watched that before. And they went, oh yeah, we watch it at ours. So I went, oh fuck. And I was like intrigued. So like, what goes on in this fucking speech? I never fu- never watched it in my yeah. life. Do you know what I mean? And I was just like, is that it? What was he saying? Just like, Happy New Year. It's just like a review of the year and shit, isn't it? It's like... It's like my big fat quiz of the year, but yeah. you know, fucking crown. Russell Brand Jesus. is not on it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah just, so, Andrew instead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they got released, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking Hawking, mate. Yeah, I, I know. I don't, I don't know. If, I don't think. I don't think that's got to respect that, though, aren't you? Do you, do you nah, I don't think that's true, mate. Yeah, you don't it think Hawking? But he was like Steve mentioned Hawking like shagger, mate. twenty-seven times. He must have been there. Stephen Hawking was a shagger, mate. Aye, can shag. He, he oh, can. He, no, he was a fucking proper shagger. Was yeah, he, he oh, dumped aye. his bird for his nurse. Yeah. This, 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 he met his, uh, his girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> met his girlfriend and that, and um, he was like, you know, oh, I'm turning into a monk. She went. 
But she was like that. I'm like, ah, do you know what I mean? I'll still, dab, I'll still dab your chin in that. Oh, so she's still good with him. Yeah, she's still she's still with him, dabbing chins, wiping asses, and that. Yeah. And then this. Fucking Why was he normal before that? Mate, more than normal. Yeah, he yeah. could walk and everything. Yeah, I just look at all the. Oh, he was just a sigh. Like, and then sort of happens. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I, I, he got bit by the monk. <laughs> <laughs> Radioactive monk. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. New film out next year? <laughs> Spider Monk. That's getting cold. I think this is finally it. Yeah. That's it. That's I think we fucked up. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, it's like, yeah. you know. Um, <laughs> So, so was this like the same mid twenties or something? Then, so you obviously you like had a brain. I, I don't. I've never. There's a film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a yeah, film of it. I've never seen it. Yeah, yeah. I've yeah, done it at the bottom. Yeah, yeah decent mate. Fear of everything, and it's just like oh, fucking hell. What fuck all of them? Might as well read. Do you know what I mean? Oh, he's, he's, he had the, the muscle thing. The knee. It's like, yeah. Yeah. So his muscles waste away, and that's so. Motor neurons. Motor neurons. Yeah. Something like that. Anyway. I don't know. Anyway, but he's. His bird's like, fucking hell, I could be getting serious cock here, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And she's got to dress up as a robot for doing that. And then he gets a nurse, do you know what I mean? And then the fucking nurse is, is like, oh yeah, do you like that colostomy bag, bitch? <laughs> and she's like, Stephen, stop it. He went, no, you stop it. Lower, lower. That's it, that's it, that's it. Back it up, back it up. Squat on that, you whore. You whore. That's right. You whore. You whore. Anyway, she's like, fucking, I love this guy, Silver Tongue. <laughs> yeah. And um, he leaves, because he, he used to write all his messages in Times New Roman to his wife. She's like, oh, he's gone off me. He's not even writing in italics to anymore. And then he, he <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And then she came home <laughs> and he found like, yo, Fashisha, Fashisha font, squiggly lined. Like, what you Shisha? No, <laughs> Fashisha. What's that squiggly font? Comic Sans. Comic Sans. No, not Comic Sans. <laughs> Come on, that's wrong, Danny. Sorry, <laughs> um, And he was like, oh, you've been shagging about, haven't you? That's how he got caught. Oh, so right. he, ch he changed the font on his little computer and that. <laughs> and then... Uh, he let he <laughs> cheated on then he cheated on his nurse again again he was just shagging about what he started uh, he, like as he became more robot he started shagging like appliances and shit like that <laughs> and he used fucked an air fryer <laughs> 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 what was good is it only took 12 minutes as opposed to <laughs> <laughs> and he said bosh when he'd done <laughs> so it's cockwork then yeah I think so and he would Let's google he, it he programmed in, like, Stephen Google if he could shag. He programmed in dirty talk into the wee computer thing. Did he really, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so he was a sick then, yeah. Oh, aye. And if you can find the Big Bang, he's going to have no problem finding the clip clip. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> That's why, girls, mate, you should shag the scientist, not the captain of the football team. Go for the nerds. Your fella has not found the back of the net in 30 yards where my man's finding stars out here. Yeah, yeah. Mm. How do you name after Yeah, go for the wheelchair people, man. Is that the new wheelchair girl in EastEnders? No, I don't know what she's doing. Oh, fit. Can't say. That was hard on that. Old she? What? That's fit, isn't it? <laughs> Did you watch these others? Yeah, it's good, man. This was special. Yeah. Is it still as bleak? Yeah, what happened? Sick, mate. Keanu got a pop bang. Keanu S stabbed. Yeah. Stabbed. Yeah. Well, he should have went to the fucking pub with the fucking older fella, shouldn't he? Well, that's why he went. He went to the pub. He got stabbed in the pub. And we're talking about the fucking youth. Going yeah. to the pub. He never had a. Oh yeah, he never had a pint with his old man. Is there any of the classic folk in it still? Phil. Phil's still in it? Phil's still in it? Yeah, he's married to Kat now. Fuck off. Yeah, Alf is in it. He's got cancer. Like Sven Goran Eriksson. Aye. He's got is cancer. He got, has he? Yeah. 
Zie je niet standers? <laughs> Runs a shop. Fucking fell off, Ali. Hey, go well, club manager. Fucking got Eski behind the bar, holding up the bar. <laughs> oh, oh fuck me! Oh, right, uh, don't know how long that is because probably eight minutes has been cut. Uh, <laughs> sorry in advance. Thanks uh, for coming down again, mate. No, it was class for. Oh, yeah, we had the last Aye, tour yes. starts. Wait, are you, are you playing here? Well, yeah, doing here. Oh, it's the date? 17th, I think. 23rd. 23rd, 23rd of Feb. Feb. No, it's not. Is it 23rd of Feb? I think so. Fucking well done, man. I think so. I'll double check. Ah, oh, well, do let's... Yeah. It's in Feb anyway. It is? 23rd yeah. of February. Bang. Uh, hot water. Research yeah. Nice. And then all over the shop. Uh, it starts again 2nd of February in Belfast. And absolute cuts... Oh fuck! Aye, yeah, yeah, absolute cuts podcast. Aye, so you, is, you that, need... is that music or film? It's films. Right. Uh, oh. I mean, it's films, but it's loosely films. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like the one we recorded the other day, we did Robocop the other day. Yeah, uh, I, don't, I don't think we started talking about Robocop till like about forty minutes in. What's, so, what's, so, what do you watch the film before you do it? Or aye, so the idea is like it's me and Ryan Cullen. Yeah. And uh, we have to find a film in a charity shop that doesn't cost any more than a pound. So any oh. film at all. And then we'll watch it that week and then talk about it. That's class. So it's, I mean, some of the fucking... The Christmas ones were brilliant. Like, was they? Uh, we did, like, Home Alone. We did Love Actually. It was... Oh, the classics. Uh, I've found brilliant. any, like, m- mental ones. We have, but we're keeping them for when we launch Patreon. You need uh, to get the film, mate. You need to find it, if I find it for you. Uh-huh. It's called Jim's Gift. Right. Jim's Gift is fucking sick, mate. All right. It's about this guy goes to a car boot sale. This kid called Jim and he gets his gift <laughs> it's, it's that's a, what it says in the 10 so far <laughs> it's a video player right and he can like Bernard's watch oh he aye, can aye, aye. watch it and he just make he just t- gives his dad horse racing tips it's like Bad to the Future 2 oh it's aye. fucking sh- it's like <laughs> it's gloriously shite but is it British but, yeah yeah, aye, yeah. Aye, aye. I think Jim Broadbent might be in it I've never been able to All find right. it. Uh, let me know if you can find Jim's gift, man. Go and check out Absolute Cuts. Ah, it's good fun. And buy tickets to Mike Nelson's tour show. What's it called? It's called All the Best. All the Best. It's literally all the good shit I've done over the past 10 years. Oh, yeah. Couldn't be asked right anyway. <laughs> so Not at all. <laughs> it's the easiest fucking yeah, tour yeah, I've yeah, ever yeah. done in my life. <laughs> the best of Mike Nelson's. There we go. <laughs> um, Tony Callum Friends on the next one. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I saw a show uh, uh, 27th and 28th of March Still tickets available for them dates um, What else? Live shows We're doing weekly live shows now from the 18th And um, the first three or four Are nearly sold out are they? So we need to get tickets If you're going to go watch us live Yeah and, we, we was, and they're going on Patreon So sign up to Patreon Yes Live streamed and the episode stays on there So you're getting an extra episode each week now My think. Uh, right, other than that, fuck off. Go and get some WD-40 and lube up Stephen Hawking's corpse. See you in a bit. Bye. Cheers. Bye. As if one day you wake up and find that you're missing me And your heart starts to wonder where on this earth I could be Thinking maybe you'll come back into the place that we'll meet And you'll see me waiting for you on the corner of the street Cause, Cause what? I'm not moving I'm not moving Yeah And I'm not moving You could definitely be a lead singer of a band